Shalom Chavarim, this is Richard Solomon, and this will be a demonstration or a tutorial, if you like, on how you use QR Voice. In order to use QR Voice, you go to this URL, which says qrvoice.net, and that'll take you to the screen. Now, basically, what occurs is you write something in this box, it converts it into a QR code. That QR code is then placed on your computer, and that QR code can be read by either your mobile device or can actually be read by your computer. So let's show you how this works. So here's what I had written. Let's take a look at this. I had written this is an example of how QR voice can be used for let me just continue for Judaic instruction and if you click on this particular icon it will generate a QR voice um, code okay and I'll show you what that what that actually looks like we'll just do it right now okay and there is the QR voice code and you could place that QR voice code actually on your computer so here is a copy of that voice code now let me show you how this actually works. What it will do is it will translate the or transpose or transform the text into an uh, voice or speech sound. Okay, so let me show you how you do that. I'm going to stop this for a moment and we're going to take the QR voice code and we are going to have it translated and let's see if we can get a sound for it let me try that one more time Let's try this another time. Let's take the QR code that we placed on the computer and try to copy it on my QR code scanner. Seems to be working. Let's open up the web browser and watch what happens. This is an example of how QR voice can be used in Judaic instruction. Let's let you hear that. Let you hear that again. This is an example of how QR voice can be used in Judaic instruction. Right, so this was a brief example to demonstrate how QR voice can be utilized to basically transform text into speech through the use of creating a QR code which could then be scanned by a QR scanner. Thank you for your patience, and I hope this was helpful.